our eight breakfast buffet at the Hilton Garden Inn. Good afternoon from Krakow, Poland. I'm just headed to the Old Town, which is right over there. So it's the first time that I'm using this DJI Osmo Pocket, so bear with me while I get the hang of this thing. Yeah, it's good to be back in Poland. I have not been here in 10 years, so I'm definitely glad to be back in this country. I was in Krakow for just about an hour 10 years ago, so I didn't really have a ton of time here. So I've always wanted to come back and do the city some justice. I did get a very late start today, however. I was just too jet lagged and had to do some work before I headed out. So I'm gonna make the most of it while I'm out here. Just crossing the road now to the riverfront. Really beautiful day today. It's quite overcast, but it's nice and warm. So it looks cold, I'm sure, on the video here, but it's about 23, 24 degrees and it stinks though. I tell you, it's a pretty river, but it smells really bad and don't swim. So I'm assuming it's a sewage outflow of some sort. There's the city's Ferris wheel, which seems to be in operation. So that's cool. And then there's that um, balloon right there, the hot air balloon, right on the shore of the waterfront here. And some kayakers out enjoying the day, it looks like. Yeah, this is the Visla River. This is the Basilica of the Archangel Michael. Really impressive church. There's actually quite a few people on the streets and it looks like life more or less is returning to normal. Not a lot of people are wearing masks or anything. I checked the cases here today and they're almost non-existent in this part of Poland right now. So makes me feel a bit more confident to travel around these parts. I am heading into the Star Miesto Old Town District here in Krakow. The Royal Route, right here. So this long drag through the Old Town District of Krakow is called the Royal Route. If you walk it, you've pretty much seen the highlights of Old Town. It's about a kilometer or so long altogether. Crowds are definitely picking up now. It's still pretty light though. It's not like a summer day in Europe or anything like that. Beautiful architecture here. All right, so Mary Magdalene Plaza. It's a very Catholic country, given that Pope John Paul II was from Poland. It gives you some indication. Very beautiful collection of old buildings here. <laughs> I'm running out of daylight, so I'm going to head up to the Old Town Square. It definitely does seem like life is getting back to normal here, so that's a good sign. Their cases are quite low. Even the ice cream shops and cafes and everything else are open, so good sign. It's getting really busy down here, so I'm guessing I'm getting right up to the Old Town Square here in a few minutes. Definitely hard to socially distance uh, given the crowds, and again, on any given summer this would be tenfold, but still, wise, uh, this is still a little bit challenging, especially block by block it seems to be getting thicker and thicker. This is the Reinach Square, the beating heart of Krakow. Oh, 
it's definitely busy here with people enjoying some alfresco dining and drinks. Bustling old town, and evidently cars are allowed inside of it. The city square. Definitely some nice views right now as we enter golden hour with the sunset hitting the sides of the building. It's really beautiful out right now. And the perfect temperature, it's pretty neutral. It's not hot or cold. Probably 20 degrees on the dot, I would say. No wind at all, so definitely feels like a warm evening. It is an exceptionally beautiful city square. Even by European standards, where there's many beautiful city squares around this continent, but this one is one of the top ten for sure. There's a lot of horse-drawn carriages here, which is a good sign, considering the health dilemmas posed right now. They seem to be running a brisk business. And this beautiful historic church is the St. Mary's Basilica. So unfortunately the church is closed right now for renovations, so I'm not able to go inside. But it is definitely beautiful from the outside, and it's located right here, right on the edge of the Stare Maestro Old Town District here in Krakow. Absolutely beautiful though, perfect weather for a night out. I'm going to be heading back to the hotel soon though as pretty much every other device of mine is now out of battery for the day, including my cell phone, so. But I did have a nice time wandering around Old Town for a little while here, for about three or four hours. I did manage to fit in quite a bit in the few hours that I was down here, but it's getting dark now, and the streets are winding down, and I'd rather walk back to the hotel in the daylight, so I'm gonna try to get back through before dark, and then an early start tomorrow to see more of the city before checkout. So for any travelers considering coming to Europe in general, this ATM network, Euronet, is one of the worst ATM networks in Europe. Uh, you basically should just throw away your money because the fees and everything else they add to the transaction is extortionate. They make up exchange rates and so forth. You'll see them everywhere because they're very convenient, but they do scam you out of your money quite completely. so from the old town. Not a bad walk for a night like this. I got some blisters like you wouldn't believe, so evidently I have not traveled in a long while. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Well, good morning from Krakow, Poland. I had a nice night here at the Hilton. I'm gonna be heading down there to the old town district once again before I say goodbye to this city and move onward. So I'm gonna be looking around here. It's hard to say goodbye, it's a really beautiful city. I'm not feeling that well though, just on a health level. It's nothing COVID related, I don't think, but I'm um, definitely not feeling too good, so I'm not gonna do too much today. But I do hope to go down and saunter around the old town for a bit. I know it's before noon, but hey, all rules are off when you're traveling. I'm gonna try the Zewicz Polish beer. This is the Krakow Barbican. Uh, lots of medieval architecture here. This reminds me a lot of Liebeck in Germany. And I'm going to be heading into Old Town from the north. So I've never been through the gate yet. I'm going to head back to the Stare Miasto Reinek Glauni, the main market square. Very impressive medieval landmark here. So again, this is called the Barbican, and it marks the entrance to the north end of Old Town. Very cool building. 
I believe it's a museum today. And the North Old Town Tower right there. Just about to head under the archway into Old Town. You can see here the old city walls of the city of Krakow. So they've been quite well preserved over the years. Another watchtower here at the end. It's a very scenic city and I'm so glad that the sunshine finally came out today after a really miserable rainy morning. I'm back down here at the Rennech Glauni, the main square. Tons of people go on the streets. I would estimate only 10% of people are wearing masks today, so definitely harder to social distance, but I'm trying to keep to myself here and avoid any unwanted exposure. If there is anybody around that might be carrying that. It doesn't feel too unsafe. I mean, it's not elbow to elbow, shoulder to shoulder crowdedness like other cities perhaps. Nice morning to be out on the main market square down here. Very beautiful, but I am trying to keep to myself. I have had some luck so far doing that. There's been a few moments when people have tried to invade my personal space to get a photo or whatever. No fault to them, but uh, they do struggle with wearing masks and social distancing here. So this is without a doubt one of the finest city squares in all of Europe. At every single corner you can find something beautiful to put your eyes on. Very historic and very medieval center here. Again, that's the old town hall tower and the cloth hall and then the cathedral right across. A lot of alfresco seating all around the square. Really beautiful. One last look back at Old Town Krakow. I'm almost out of the Old Town at this point, reaching the southern tip and Wawel Castle.